Hey, move that fork out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Rack of Lamb. So I'm actually in my home office at the moment trying to get some work done while my toddler's sleeping. So excuse me if I sound like I'm whispering. I've been super busy lately, but I still wanted to schedule some time to show you guys what I've been making in the kitchen. So in today's video, I will be showing you how to make braised beef shank in the Instant Pot. This dish is usually served cold, sliced up as an appetizer and you may have come across something similar during a banquet at a Chinese restaurant. Shanghainese restaurants also sell this as a side cold dish, frequently topped with chili oil. But since I must share all my food with my toddler, I don't make this dish spicy. Rather, when I provided her with her portion, I would top my own serving off with some crushed red pepper, chili oil, or chili sauce. Now, if you don't have to keep it kid friendly, feel free to add some Sichuan peppercorn or chili to keep it exciting. Now, if you don't want to serve this dish cold or as an appetizer, you may also cut it up into chunks and place it over some fried noodles. I'll show you guys how it's done both ways. So if you are interested in making an amazing meal, please keep watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The ingredients you will need include dark and light soy sauce, oyster sauce and Shaoxing wine, sugar and four cups of water, star anise and cinnamon stick, bay leaves, black pepper and five spice powder. You'll also need two to three pounds of beef shank. I purchased this from my local Asian supermarket and it weighed 2.1 pounds. Before we whip out the Instant Pot, we are going to parboil the beef shank to remove any impurities. This process is very common in Chinese cooking. If you're not new to my channel, you would have noticed this in my crispy pork belly and Vietnamese pho ga videos. Begin by placing the beef into a pot, filling it with enough cool water to cover the beef. Now bring the water to a boil over high heat. You'll notice a layer of gunk atop the boiling water. Turn off the fire, discard the water, then give the beef shank a good rinse. You'll also need a large thumb of ginger, sliced, and four cloves of garlic, peeled and crushed. Now we're ready for the Instant Pot. Remove the lid, then press the saute button. When the hot indicator is on, pour one tablespoon of oil into the pot, swirling to coat evenly. Place your crushed garlic and ginger slices into the pot and stir until you can smell their aromas. Add three star anise followed by one cinnamon stick and stir for several seconds. Add four cups of water, a quarter cup of Shaoxing wine, a quarter cup of light soy sauce, and a quarter cup of dark soy sauce. Add one tablespoon of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of five spice powder, and three bay leaves. Give the braising liquid a good mix to blend all the ingredients together. I know the beef's been sitting in there without any mention. So depending on the size of your pot, you may want to cut up your beef so that most of it is soaking in the braising liquid. Given I have an eight quart instant pot and only half of my beef shank was sitting in the braising liquid, I decided to cut it into three pieces. This ensures that the beef shank will be marinated more thoroughly and extra flavorful. When all the ingredients are in, close the lid, 
Cancel the saute function, then pressure cook for 45 minutes. Make sure the steam valve is in sealing position. As a reminder, if you want your beef shank to have an extra kick, you may add some Sichuan peppercorns or chili pepper into the braising liquid. When time is up, do a quick release or allow the pressure to naturally release, which took me about 32 minutes. Either way, make sure the floating valve is completely down before you open the lid. You may choose to eat the beef immediately while it's hot over rice or noodles, but I would recommend saving it for tomorrow to allow the shank to sit longer in the braising liquid overnight. To do this, allow the items in the pot to cool, then cover and place it into the fridge or transfer them into a smaller pot like I do if you don't want the instant pot to take up too much room in your fridge. When you're ready to eat it the next day as a cold side dish, appetizer or snack, just remove the shank pieces out of the pot. Note that there may be some coagulated fat on the beef shank. Simply scrape them off if you want, then carefully slice the shank into thin pieces. Chilling the beef will make it easier to slice. I also find it helpful not cutting the shank too small prior to braising to avoid the beef from crumbling while slicing them thinly. The larger the pieces, the better grip you'd get. Now just look at that. The beauty of this dish after it's been topped with some crushed red pepper flakes. Make sure you also have some chili oil or sauce handy. Since my toddlers had her share of non-spicy beef, I am dipping these in some chili sauce. If you plan to eat the beef right away rather than as a cold dish, I recommend eating them with pan-fried noodles. Cut your beef into chunks. Cook and or fry your noodles according to package instructions. Pour your desired amount of sauce into a pot, then thicken with a cornstarch slurry. When the sauce is thickened, add some shank pieces into the pot. Give it a quick mix and it's ready to serve. Alright, let's grab a plate and assemble our dish. Add your pan fried noodles. Top your pan fried noodles off with a generous amount of beef shank pieces. Then drizzle your desired amount of this tasty, thickened sauce onto the noodles and beef. I garnished a plate with some scallions, but I was too lazy to cut them. Instead, I added some greens for color and fiber. Braised beef shank. There's many ways you can go with it. Have them as a cold dish, cut them up into chunks or slices, and have them over noodles or rice. I hope this gives you a few more options for dinner, easily made in the Instant Pot. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.